Okay, Brad Holmes flexing his muscles here, drafting James Houston, 217th overall. We're going to look at his three sacks against the Bears. And just as a reminder, he had a sack against the Jaguars. Next week, a sack against Minnesota, two sacks. I'm sorry, another sack against the Jets, then three sacks against um, Chicago. So he is filling up the stat sheet, and here's how he's doing it. Let's look at his three stats here. First one, this is classic James Houston. He's going to come in so low that the offensive tackle has really no idea what to do. So he's coming in, a little shake and bake. Next thing you know, he's whoop, he's underneath him. He's underneath his arms, and now he's got the leverage, and he's just pushes him back. That is the thing that we keep kind of keep talking about. His power is way underrated. He's very quick. He's bendy. But when you can throw the tackle into the quarterback, get a sack without even knowing it, like he gets up, he's like, what? what's going on? Where's the ball? Where is it? Oh, he's on the ground. Oh, sweet. Ah, yeah, I'll take it. That's a sack, baby. This one, this is where he gets the fumble. So what he's going to do here, he's got two tight ends. This design, this play is kind of designed to be over by now, but he keeps going, keeps going. Fields moves up. So this is when jo- um, James Houston's going to move back around, and he has the speed and the ability to get to Justin Fields so much quicker than he ha- anticipates. So he thinks, you know, Fields is such a great athlete. He's like, all right, do I want to throw it? What do I want to do here? Taking a look at his options, and out of nowhere, bang. Fumble on the ground, force fumble sack. And I've been talking about it. Craig and I have been talking about it. You have to play. You have to have a couple people on your team. The more, the better, of course, that play above the X's and O's. You don't plan for this is football. He he scrambles. He's a great quarterback. He's looking downfield. You've got a guy that comes out of nowhere to get a fumble. Our ball, huge. Next play, this is where you really realize, okay, we have something special here. He's going to drop back in coverage. It's a perfect design play call wise. Again, you have to play above the X's and O's. X's and O's wise, he takes care of exactly what we want him to. Boom, there's that slant, not there. He's right there. He can can cover that. So if you're Justin Fields, you look. He also has that top receiver too, kind of he's there if it gets thrown. He looks, he's like, you know what I'll do? I'll just run 15 yards as fast as I can. Bang! Down goes Fields, and Fields is tough to take down. Puts him in a pretzel and takes him down. Let's look at it from another angle. Drops back in coverage. Fields has his eyes down the field. He doesn't expect this last five yards of closing speed. Boom! (laughs) Above the X's and O's. And so now you look at a play in which Justin Fields should have thrown this away or scrambled or something. Instead, it's a 10-yard loss when you have a guy that was supposed to be back in coverage comes and gets a sack. James Houston is, like, scary all of a sudden. It, it went from a cool story, hey, he got a sack, awesome. Oh, he got another one, that's awesome, to he's playing. He played a lot more in the last game out there on running downs. That was the thing I thought was he must not be able to stand up against the run. Like, because you only had him out there on third and long specialty stuff. So we had, you know, he came in the first time against the Bills, two sacks. So obviously now it's more than just a cute story and it's more than just, uh, hey, he can get in there third and long and dance around and get a sack. You saw the power, you saw him drop back in coverage, the speed. And that's really his, his game is he's bendy and he can absolutely take a five yard just bang and get you. So, Hope you enjoyed that. I, I could watch those three sacks all day long. Also, a little bit of merch starting to come out. We're working on it. Let us know your thoughts on that. Maybe you'd be like, nah, I'd never wear anything that says Sports Talk Detroit. What the heck is that? Or maybe you'd be like, yeah, I'd wear that. So let us know in the comments. Lions, James Houston. I mean, James Houston. Let's think about this for a second. Defensively, right? Just rookies figuring it out. James Houston, Hutch. Rodriguez got, you know, I've talked about him lately just because he's just almost like a veteran starter guy now. Kirby Joseph, Pascal. You've kind of got this foundation of guys, and then you can sprinkle in this offseason a little little free agent here. You don't have to get weird about your free agents. You don't have to get desperate about your free agents now that you've got your core. 
hey, good, for, you know, a little free agent. But again, you're going to draft well. Brad Holmes, because offensively, we're really nicely set. So you can add a splash piece offensively if you need to in the draft and where it makes sense. Running back, something where we may be lacking a little bit, even though Swift all of a sudden looks amazing. But now you can just keep adding to the defense. You've got your core and now sprinkle in free agents. You cannot build your team around free agents. We tried that, right? We remember when we were, we were bringing in all kinds of guys back in the 2013, 14, 15, 16. It looks good. It, it's not sustainable. You have to draft well. And Brad Holmes just drafted our core and we got good guys around us. So excited to see what we do next. But Brad Holmes, James Houston, it's all coming together. Love it. Let us know. Your thoughts in the comments. We'll see you on the